Hi, these are my 60s pigs we're going to have a look at, but first off I just wanted to show you this template. I'll come in close so Kim can focus in on it. Now, that is the low rail, and see the pencil line around the outside that's a bit bigger? That's the high rail, okay? Now, traditionally the low rail has always been a very difficult to ride um, uh, version of the 60s pig, and when I did the fatter rail one, it was just a bit more user friendly, just to tell you the difference between the low and high rail. Now, the one, this one over here is the high rail, and this one on that side is the lower rail. Now that one's glass with 10 ounce, this is glass with 7.5 ounce. Now you can see the 10 ounce is a lot darker with its color, and the 7.5 is still, the color's there, but not as dark as the 10. Now, both have the same bottom shape, so the same roll through the middle, through there, and the same V in the tail, the same outline. Okay, that all stays the same, except um, the difference is the thickness of the rail. I'll just get Kim to stay there, and I'll turn this on the side, and you'll be able to see how pinched and thin that rail actually does look. Okay, now, um, I'll just put it up here, bear with me, there we go. Now, the difference between the two boards in how they ride is the, this is more forgiving, the fuller rail one, and the pinch rail one really is not forgiving. It turns on a dime. Um, it's basically like they were back in the late 67, just before the short board revolution happened. So this was typical of the Aussie 60s um, pig. This one's 9, 4, 23 by 3 and an 8. So most old pigs at that period for that eight to 10 months, uh, just before the short border revolution, they were all the same. Okay, I'll turn this one over as well. We'll look from the front, you'll see uh, the grass is a bit wet, so there might be a few bits of grass on the board. Bear with us. Okay, there we go. That's nice and clean. So as you see, they both look exactly the same. I'll just turn this one on its side, and you'll see, okay, the rail's got a bit more coolness to it. Okay, now, um, the other feature of this board is this one has the V in the sense of the stringer, tapered stringer with the colours. This is to add width in the tail so I can get the width in the tail that I want comfortably and get the real big shape. Now, I'll turn this board back over here and here we have the fin. Now, if you come up here, Kim, we'll have a look at the how I've done the fin. Now, I've done the fin box where I filled it all in with black um, uh, resin pigment uh, to make it look like a solid big black box like the old ones as well the box fits the whole box there's no gap like they did there as well and the foil this has got a classic old foil just a blunt front all the way through a thicker foil tapered down not too sh not too big a foil okay so this is like a lot of the boards from the 60s were they both have the same um, template I'll show this one as well this one has the colored fin with a bit of um, pasty fabric, same fit, everything else is the same, same foil, so that's what you get with that one. Now, um, the reason the clients decided to go with this as well, a bit more convenient for traveling, and um, I can do this with a fixed fin, because it's going to America, the box only has to be not even uh, eight inches thick or seven inches thick, opposed to <laughs> this thick. So it just makes it more practical. These ones are going through the door as well because they're 9.4, they're under the three meter size box so it can be shipped anywhere in the world to the door. Once you go over um, a three meter box, like 10 foot pigs, uh, it has to go to the airport, it can't go to the door. Okay, so that's the only drawback. So this one's 9.4, so both of these, this one will be going to Florida and that one to Massachusetts, the northern east part coast of the USA. Now, uh, Henry's decided on getting a bridge and Dave decided not so you can have any option you want okay if you want to get this tinted all the different things Henry decided for that um, and Dave maybe Dave searched a lot more spots where it's not as crowded okay so this model is the 60s pig if you um, it was another one I did recently and the rail was in between it was one for nails so it doesn't mean you, you can't alter it a little bit to suit what you want to suit okay so anyway this one is the 60s pig